So we've now got uh, the machine suspended from our overhead crane. Obviously on site that's going to be a, a mobile crane, a tower crane or a forklift or telehandler. And just a quick word about the panel. This is our sample of our curve wall panel. So these suction pads here, we've got four each side of the machine, are going to locate in this, this, this and this groove. And as we lower them, you'll see the suction pads are quite narrow. It's quite a snug fit into those uh, valleys. Just make sure that they're located carefully. You don't actually scratch the panel surface in any way. So the machine here, the um, first thing we need to do is rotate the pads so we can actually drop it onto the panel. Uh, this pivot bar along, along underneath the machine can actually rotate and there's a rotation lock here. So take the weight in the bar, lift the rotation lock, and the machine will rotate back round. So now the suction pads are facing down. We're ready to actually move the machine across to the panel and place it on the panel surface. So, as I mentioned earlier, just take some care how you position these suction pads into those valleys, making sure you don't catch the shoulders of the curves. Okay, and when you're happy with the positioning, make sure all the weight of the machine bears down to the panel because that will uh, positively locate the seals onto the panel surface. So there's no tension on the lifting strop. The machine's bearing down through the, through the eight pads onto the panel surface. And the pads are located, as explained, in those valleys, in the bottom of the valleys, each side. So now we're ready to operate suction. So Neil will come in and operate the vacuum lever which is the lever there, pull it forward into the green zone. Okay. So we'll do that again in a minute. I'll just let the machine go through what it's, need, what it's doing and we'll explain what's happening there. So just to explain that again, you know, to remove suction, obviously you would only do that when you're taking the machine off the panel or the panel's against the wall and fixed and secure. You pull the pin and slide that lever into the red zone. And you hear then the machine venting. So I'm gonna ask Neil again just to uh, slide that across into the suction zone. And I'm gonna show you what happens on the front of the machine. So it's gonna rotate across there. Again, you saw as soon as Neil operated the lever, the vacuum gauge rose quickly through the red zone. And while it's doing that, the red light was on and the acoustic warner was on. But as soon as the needle approached the green zone, the red light and the warner went off and the green light came on. And at that stage, when you've got a green light, you're safe to lift. The vacuum pumps continued operating for maybe 10 seconds or so after that point. And those vacuum pumps will operate at any time. So when you're lifting this panel, you'll get a natural vacuum loss and the vacuum pumps will kick in to compensate for that loss. So you don't have to wait for the vacuum pumps to switch off. You just need to wait for the green light and the red light to go off, the sound to go off and the green light to come on. At that point, you're safe to lift. And you've got full working load at that point. The full working load is indicated by the sum of the suction pads you've got here. So each of those suction pads is rated at 40 kilos and you've got eight of those, so you've got a safe working load of 320 kilos at the point at which the green light comes on. And that's allowing for a double safety factor as well. So we're going to do suction once more because I want to show you what happens to the suction pads. So I'm going to release suction. And I'm going to ask Neil to operate it. 
And you just watch the suction pads as they pull themselves down to the panel surface. So they move two or three millimetres down to the panel surface. If for some reason you're not able to achieve suction, it's because these pads are not located correctly on the panel surface and something's preventing them from pulling themselves down to the surface. And with this panel, it will usually indicate that the pads have been caught on the shoulder of the shape. So just pay attention to the positioning of all eight pads when you're trying to achieve suction. So now I've got suction, and the next thing we do is lift the panel off the stack and apply the secondary safety straps. So you normally lift it you know, 8 or 12 inches from the stack, uh, loop the safety straps around. The loop pins into the top of the safety strap and you can adjust the length. Now you need the safety straps quite snug around the panel, but to be able to pull the pin and remove the strap quite easily. So they're quite snug around there. Again, at both sides. Remember, these are not optional. These are mandatory. You need to apply the secondary safety straps when you're lifting overhead. So once the straps are in there and you're happy, you can continue to raise the panel until it's clear of the stack and you can rotate it then into the vertical plane. Okay, so to rotate the panel, all you simply do is one at each end, just rotate it up, they will lock into position. Okay, so this lever, this rotation lock clicked in, the machine's upright now in the vertical plane, ready to mount onto the wall. And now you begin to see the function of the adjustable lift eye, because we've set it and that panel is sitting pretty much plumb, ready to go onto the wall. If that was a thicker panel or a heavier panel, you would have to adjust the lift eye to a different position to compensate for that. But that's a matter of uh, trial and error on the first lift, and once it's adjusted, everything should be fine from there on. So this machine now is under vacuum, the panel's suspended safely. Um, it's pretty sitting pretty vacuum tight, but as I mentioned earlier, it is possible that you'll get a vacuum leak and the vacuum pumps will kick in at any point during the lift. Don't be alarmed by that, the machine's doing exactly what it's meant to do. So now on site, you continue lifting the panel, present it to the wall, when you're a few uh, inches away from you know, placing on the wall, you can release the safety straps by pulling the pin, throwing the straps round clear of the panel. Continue those last few inches, position the panel and where you want it on the wall, then secure the panel before you release suction. Make sure the panel is secure against the wall and then release suction simply by pulling this pin and rotating the lever into the red position. As soon as you do that, it will release the panel. Suction will be lost and the panel will be released. So don't do that until the panel is secure. And then the process is repeated, back down for the next panel and continue. So I'm going to stop this video now and we'll go back and we'll uh, put the machine back in the cradle and reassemble it for a vertical lift.